Here we are again on what time? The channel with a focus on the NVIDIA Shield. People who are setting up a new Shield or have a recently reset Shield often ask how to install Chrome browser and the file link app. There are several methods out there and a whole bunch of YouTube videos explaining how to do it. Today we're going to look at a different method, one that I haven't seen done before. And I think you're going to like this one. So before we dive in, you can show us your support by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. That way you'll be getting notifications of when the next video comes out. So let's get stuck in. What time? Like all the other methods used out there to install Chrome and File Linked, this method also uses an intermediary app. The main difference is that in this case, the intermediary app that I'm using is one that I use every day and I love it. It's an app that has far more use than just downloading Chrome and file linked. There's a lot more to it than that and I'll show you bits of what it can do whilst we're going through this tutorial. All will be revealed. Let's press on. The very first thing we're going to do is to go into the Google Play Store. And once we're in the Google Play Store, we're going to go up to the top right across to the magnifying glass, the search button, and right click onto the microphone and side load channel launcher 2. Launcher 2, <laughs> launcher 2. Okay, the very first result there, side load channel launcher 2 with the big S black and white logo, not to be confused with a side load launcher to the right of it. So the first one is what we want. We click on that and we're going to install that. Side Load Channel Launcher 2 is a paid app, so you may have to pay for it at this point. So let's click on open and we get dropped into the help and about screen and we'll just click on close. Allow Sideload Channel Launcher 2 to access photos, media and files on your device, of course. Allow that. We're presented with a blank screen. Okay, the first we're in configure mode. That's when you see that plus sign and add mode. To get out of that, uh, you'll have to come down to the bottom icon there. But as we've got nothing there yet, we need to configure at least one link. So we have to add a row and we're going to hide channel logo and name, don't need to do anything there, and save it. Okay, we then go on to the plus sign and we're going to add a tile. Now in this tile we're going to add two links basically. So we have to do a custom tile and we're going to we can put an icon in it if we want, but we're not going to bother right now. And we're going to add an action. In fact, we're going to add two actions, but click on there. And the first action we're going to do is a file viewer. This is a very rudimentary basic file manager, which we'll be, we'll be using later to find the downloaded files that we're going to download and install. OK, so come down to the bottom add website URL. In there we already presented with HTTP forward slash forward slash www dot. Um, you can use plug in a USB keyboard is a good idea, USB keyboard and mouse to put this in or you can use the, you can use the virtual keyboard. So we're going to click into there and we're going to go to Google dot com. So we've configured the URL. Done. Okay. So we've now got the file viewer and the Google link configured. We just have to come and save it. Come down to the left. Go all the way down to the bottom. Save. I might have to click it twice. And now we have to come out of configure mode. Down to that bottom icon there. The little person with the gears next to it. Click on that. And we're going to close admin. Right. Go back up to that tile that we've already configured. And in there we've got two options. We're going to go to Google. Let's go into Google. And in Google, press the right button on your remote. And 
and on the magnifying glass you just click enter so we're going to get it from up to down I'm using a keyboard here USB keyboard and mouse plugged into my shield or you can use the shield TV app from the Play Store so up to down download Chrome come across and go now there's a couple of uh, entries there you could go for that first one but I would go for the download I've already done this once before and I'm, this takes you directly to the download page click on download and it's that green icon on the right that says download that we're aiming for I'm using the mouse here you can also navigate to that if you have if you want to click on the download button and downloading Chrome that's already started come down scroll down a bit you can see that it's download complete okay so we're going to just back out of there and well, back out of there as well back to that page and we're going to click back into the search box and this time we're going to just type in file linked all one word and, and go and there we have the first entry there is filelink.com go for that one that page loads up and what we're looking for is that uh, link down there you can use your, your navigation d-pad keys navigation keys on your remote or you can use your mouse as I said before I'm using a mouse just click on that and downloading the APK okay once that's downloaded it only takes a moment once that's downloaded download complete let's press the escape button a couple of times three times get out of there and we're back to sideload channel launcher 2 again now let's click on that back onto that uh, icon and we're going to go into the file viewer and the first entry there is yours might say SD card you're going to navigate I've got a lot of other stuff hooked up to my shield the first one will be SD card probably and you click on that and go down to the download folder as you can see I've got a whole bunch of chromes there because I did a few tests whilst I was preparing for this video and we're going to first of all install Chrome click on that um, for your for your security your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source sideload channel launcher 2 so you do actually have to uh, go to settings and scroll down to sideload channel launcher 2 and allowed let's go back on that and we'll click on that again and do you want to install that so we come down to the bottom to the right and install installed just click on done don't worry about that now we're going to install file linked let's click on file linked down to the bottom and right and install And that's it done they're both installed we come back out of there back 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 and we're back to our home screen if we hit our home home button now we'll go back into the uh, shields normal home screen as i say you can reconfigure this sideload channel launcher too there's lots of videos we've done on this setting it as default launcher or being able to set remap your buttons your home button so you can either go into your Side low channel launcher 2 or your standard home screen let's go back to the home screen and there you are done hope this has helped
well that's it for now thanks very much for watching why not come and join us over on facebook in the noobs nerds and in between us nvidia shield group there's a link in the description as is a link to our sideload channel launcher 2 group where we focus 100 percent on this launcher we'll catch you when you catch us in the next one total pip <laughs>